<laughs> okay, um, Sydney and Brian, I want to thank you for coming back today. Uh, just as we get started, let me ask you how you're doing today. Great. Okay, doing okay? Okay. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I last saw you, and I'll just recap to uh, sort of integrate what we've been talking about and to give you an opportunity to share where you are today and how you'd like to see this session go forward. Okay, so as I understand, um, as you shared, you are the pastor of a church, and this is your new first lady or bride. You've been married now about three months. Three months. Yeah, and your daughters currently live in Alaska, and they're coming to visit. And Sydney, this is your first time meeting Brian's daughters, and right. you've been you've been experiencing a little bit of um, nervousness or anxiety about this first meeting um, as you shared in our last se session that this brought back some memories of um, a sort of competitive spirit that you and your sisters had growing up being uh, vying for the attention of your dad and now you feel like you have some females coming into your life and you feel like you might have to compete again with your husband now for his attention. And Brian, you shared your concern because uh, Sydney shared with you in the last session that she confessed that during the last communion service, she said she sneaked some wine home and she's been sipping this wine when she's alone whenever she starts to think about your daughter's coming to visit. Okay, so have you two talked about this very much since our last session? Well, we had a little conversation about it, but yeah, we talked about it a little bit. Trying to get an understanding of what's going on. Okay. So, Sydney, would you like to share where you are today since our last session with all this new information that what you shared uh, in, in the way of a confession? What does that down to? It still feels the same. Okay. Um, have you felt the need to have a sip? I want to have a sip right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay. Sorry. All right. So if you wanna, if that's not, you're not sitting there, oh, okay, all right, all right, just, just, just make sure. Okay. okay, so, um, has there been a history prior to this that, where you've been nervous and it's led you to want to have something to drink? No. So all this is brand new? Yes. Okay, does that raise some concerns for you? Yes. Okay, what, what are you feeling when you think about this extra, layer now that involves alcohol? I don't think about the alcohol. I think about the issues that's going on. Okay. So if I ask you to think about the alcohol, has that had, in your mind, any negative impact on your life at all? No. Okay. Because initially you didn't share that with your husband. All right. But then you finally did. So I don't what, want him to judge me. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, Brian, would you like to share? How, how you were made to feel, or how you felt, when Sydney shared that information with you. Well, it really, it really was a problem with me, just, she don't have to hide what she's doing, and she could just come to me and give me, tell me how she feels, so I get a better understanding. Okay. When it comes to, when it comes to secrets, is this the first secret that you've discovered that the two of you have had between you? Well, no, we always keep PR on each other until they, Tell each other how we feel, and, you know, how we, what we think about situations. Okay. So, how are you feeling today, both of you? Yeah, it's, a, it's not a big deal, but I wish she would have came to me first and told me how she, how she felt. Okay. And how are you feeling today, Sydney, about your new stepdaughters coming to town? Because it's now, they're coming in what, two weeks now? Yeah, about two weeks. Yeah, so how are you feeling? I mean, it's okay. So you getting more comfortable yeah. with that? Is there anything that Brian has done to help you more comfortable with that? We talked about it. We talked about it. Okay. So the communication is improving, would you say? Yes. It's communication is everything. Okay. Without that, you have nothing. All right. Because initially, you did not necessarily feel comfortable to share your discomfort. Right. But what you're saying today is you're feeling more comfortable about sharing 
Okay. Now, um, let me ask you this, because you confessed that you were drinking behind your nervousness. Um, are you still experiencing the same level of nervousness that you were before? No, it's a little better. Okay. Because a minute ago you said you felt like taking a sip. Was that just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure, um, because what I'd like to know is, do you feel the same need to have a drink as you did when you had thoughts of your new stepdaughter coming to town? No, that's just these thoughts. Okay, so the communication has really helped to move you to a more comfortable place. Okay, is there anything else that the two of you um, are having any issues with as, it, um, as we move closer to this date of their arrival? Have you spoken to them at all? No. Okay, have you spoken to them? Yes, I have. Are they excited about meeting? Yes, they're very excited. They're okay. very excited. Okay, so because they're they're both adult age, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and you don't have you currently don't have any children, but um, what? So what are your plans when they when they arrive to town? What are you planning to do? Well, we probably go out to eat or something, and just talk and just see what's going on in their life and let them know what's going on in our, in our life. Okay, are you planning to have them stay with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're going back home. <laughs> no, no I, meant, I meant during their visit. Oh, during their visit, are they going to stay with you? Or? Well, they probably stay for a couple of days. Yeah. Okay. So you have other family here yeah. that they'll be able to visit with? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's the same. Okay. Any special plans while you're to help you sort of uh, get. Well, maybe to go when, when I'm going to work, maybe they can go out and do things together. Maybe go shopping with her. Maybe like to do things like that. Okay. All right. Well, um, it sounds as if your communication is really making a difference in how you're approaching as well as handling the anxiety that you were uh, feeling. Is there is is this the first time that you've had this level of anxiety where, again, because I asked you for it, it's no, not sisters. Yeah. Um, how how have you handled um, anxiety in, at other times in your life? Communication. Okay. So this is something you were able to easily go back to, mm -hmm. but I guess because of the newness of this relationship, you didn't necessarily, no, and don't let me put words in your mouth, but help me to understand. Initially, you didn't feel comfortable to share that with him, right. but communication is something that, so is there anything that can put up a barrier for you that makes you not want to communicate? No. Nothing? How about fear? How about fear? Okay, fear. fear. Oh. Okay. What about you, Chris? Is there anything that makes you uncomfortable when it comes to communication? Well, no, because I think communication is like very important to me. I mean, it is very important. Yeah. Like I said, without communication, you don't have anything. Well, as a preacher as well, that's, that's uh, sort of the basis of everything that you that's do. Good. Is that's that, good. That communication. That's it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 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 yeah, communication is everything. Yeah. Um, well, I, I appreciate both of you sharing today, and it sounds as if um, you're focusing on having open communication, and it sounds as if you were very receptive of and sensitive to her nervousness or her anxiety as it pertains to meeting your daughter. And I want to thank both of you for coming in today, for sharing with me. And as we go forward, I'd like to give you both um, an assignment so that on our next session, you can come back and report on this because it's clear to see that um, you communicate more than your wife. Uh, I guess that's why you're the preacher. Right. And uh, she's she's first lady, supportive. But in, even in that, the support that comes between the two of you, um, what I'd like to do, as I said, is give you an assignment and tell me one thing about the other that really drew you to each other in terms of what you feel like you could not do without in this relationship. So I want you to tell me, and this is in our next session, this won't be today, but when we come back, 
And I want you to communicate and, and actually um, interview one another because whatever it is that you decide, this is the one thing about you that I could not do without to really be able to come back and from, not only from your perspective, but to interview that other person and find out what it is that really brought them to that place that makes that aspect of their life so powerful, okay? Sure. So when you come back, you'll give me a report on what makes your day, what brings that sunshine that, from the other person, and then be able to really articulate, not only from your perspective, but to help them to understand, not only do you appreciate it, but how did they get to that place? What makes that powerful in their lives, okay? All right, well, I'd like to thank you, Sydney and Brian, for your time together to, with me today. I really appreciate it, and um, may God bless you on this new venture as you look to expand the dynamics of your relationship, bringing in these two girls. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, good job. Thank you. <laughs>